Okay, you already know what time it is with Hell in a Cell just around the corner. Tomorrow night, <clears throat> this is going to be a great pay-per-view. Over the past few months, I've done terrible on predictions. This one, I am calling it, though. I am going to get this one perfect. I'm going to get everyone, every match right, and I'm going to get this one perfect. So, first off is the kickoff show. And we've got Ziggler, Neville, and Cesaro taking on Rusev, Sheamus, and King Barrett. And I'm going to have to go with this one. It only makes sense to me that... Oh, shit, this one's tough. Um, this one's honestly might be the toughest one yet because I just don't know who to pick. Um... Because, you see, they've been building up Rusev, Sheamus, and Barrett. They had a tag team match on SmackDown, even. They are trying to build them up, maybe as a team, even. But, but then Ziggler, Neville, and Cesaro haven't won yet, so I would figure they would win at the pay-per-view, after all. Hell in a Cell is a freaking, like, most good guys win at the pay-per-views, right? But then again, Hell in a Cell is kind of a heels pay-per-view, in my opinion. So I'm going to have to go with Rusev, Sheamus, and the King Barrett to win. Sheamus is Mr. Money in the Bank. You've got the King of the Ring winner. And you've got Rusev Crush, who is undefeated for forever. It would be ridiculous if they lost. So I'm going to go with them for the kickoff show. Then, after that, we've got the New Day taking on the Dudley Boys. And this match, I am assuming that Xavier Woods is not going to be at ringside for this match as he was taken out. He was put through the table by those dang dirty table poaching Dudley boys. But I'm going to have to go with the Dudleys to win this match simply because Xavier Woods is not going to be at ringside. So my pick is for the Dudleys to finally win the belts. Too bad. I like the New Day, but it only makes sense. Match after that, we've got to have some title change hands, right? But after that, we've got a Divas Championship match between Charlotte and Nikki Bella. And, of course, this one's easy. I'm going to go with Charlotte to retain. It only makes sense. So, moving on after that one, we've got the Intercontinental Championship match between Kevin Owens and The Ryback. And, of course, you already know I'm going to have to go with Kevin Owens here. Because Ryback's run with the belt was completely boring. I somewhat like Ryback, but he is completely boring in the ring. So, And Kevin Owens is awesome. He's the best heel in the WWE right now. So I'm obviously going to have to go with Kevin Owens here. Um, after that match, we've got the John Cena U.S. Open Challenge. Now the big question here is, who will accept? Who, who will accept? It, who, who's it going to be? People say Tyler Breeze, it could be Daniel Bryan, it could be Sami Zayn even. Who's going to accept this challenge? I am going with Dean Ambrose to accept the challenge and Dean Ambrose to win the belt. And I am going with this one simply because Dean Ambrose does not have a match on the card. John Cena is going to be away for a while here soon. I can only assume Dean Ambrose to come out here and defeat John Cena for the belt. Dean Ambrose would win the United States Championship. He is the longest reigning United States Champion of all time, so I mean, it wouldn't make Cena look bad at all, of course, so Vince wouldn't be angry. And it just makes sense for Dean Ambrose to come out there and win it. Since Roman should be done with this feud with the Wyatts, I would think, after this. So Dean Ambrose should probably win the United States Championship. Um, moving on after that, we've got Roman Reigns taking on Bray Wyatt in a Hell in a Cell match. This match is a tough one, but mm, with the new addition in the Wyatts, I think I'm going to have to go with Bray Wyatt. Simply because he's got Braun Strowman there to watch his back. He's got freaking Eric Rowan. He's got Luke Harper. He's got all three of them to watch his back. Who's Roman got? Just Dean Ambrose. 
and Ambrose might not even come out there since he's going to be mad. I'm sure Ambrose will come out there. Ambrose will come down there running with the belt. He'll come down there limping if he has to. Dean Ambrose will be there, but still, it's two on four. It doesn't make any sense. Bray Wyatt is obviously going to win this match. Then after that, when we've got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match between Seth Rollins, and they've actually built it on here as Demon King. Okay, this match couldn't get any more clear. It's obvious Seth Rollins has to win. If Demon Kane wins the belt, I will be pissed. I think anyone will be pissed. Demon Kane cannot win the fucking belt. Seth Rollins has to retain here. That's the only option. Seth Rollins has to remain your remaining undisputed WWE World Heavyweight Champion and the man of the WWE. And then for the final match, now this one is the only match that's going to be harder for me to pick from the kickoff show. You've got The Undertaker taking on Brock Lesnar in the Hell of a Cell. And what I don't understand is, so, these idiots are going to raise the cell for the championship match if they do it in that order, but then they're going to have to lower it again for Brock and Undertaker. <laughs> okay. If that makes sense, they should just have all three matches on the cell, right? But um, this is a Hell of a Cell match, of course, like I just stated. We've got The Undertaker taking on the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. And he is also the mayor of Suplex City, bitch. So, of course, if I went with who I wanted to win, if I went with my gut decision, who I wanted to win, it would be... Brock Lesnar, but I, I don't know if I can do that, I don't know if The Undertaker, that there's been a lot of speculation about how Brock Lesnar is going to get attacked and he's going to get cost the match at Hell in a Cell, because, of course, you know who, Stone Cold is going to come out there and cost Brock the match, there's been a lot of rumors of that, but I don't usually like to go by the book with predictions. So I'm going to go completely opposite, and I'm going to say someone's going to come out there and cost The Undertaker the match. And I'm going to say Sting comes out there, costs The Undertaker the match, and sets up for Sting Undertaker at WrestleMania 32. That's what I'm going with. Sting comes out there, assaults The Undertaker, and Brock Lesnar wins. If all that doesn't go down, I'm still picking Brock Lesnar to win. So my pick is Brock Lesnar to walk out victorious. I picked it last time at SummerSlam, got that one wrong. This one's getting going right. Brock Lesnar for the win. Um, Bray Wyatt with the win. Dean Ambrose capturing the U.S. title. Kevin Owens retaining his belt. Charlotte retaining her belt. The Dudley Boys picking up the tag titles. The pre the pre show, I'm picking the bad guys to win. And I think that's every match. I think I went over every match there. Oh, duh. And the WWE undisputed. World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins to retain his belt because he is the man. And other than that, I have nothing else to say. All those predictions are going to be right. If you have anything different, you're wrong because I am getting them all right. Brock's going to win. Seth Rollins is going to prove why he's the man. And everyone else that I said, it's going down that way. So other than that, stay tuned for my review on my main channel, uh, tomorrow night after the pay-per-view. But other than that, that's the end of my review. Just remember, Seth Rollins is going to retain.